All right. Hi, guys. Welcome back. And we're going to have a quick lesson on conversion factors today. So I'm going through your worksheet and we're just doing one step conversions with just a few reminders of how those work. So hopefully this is helpful to you. So our first question is asking us to convert the length of a pencil from inches into centimeters. So the first thing we wanna do is figure out what our conversion factor is. And so we're gonna look at that table at the top of our sheet and we're gonna find that it gives us a conversion that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. And anytime we have a conversion factor, we can write it as a fraction. And so we could write this as one inch over 2.54 centimeters, or we can write it as 2.54 centimeters over one inch. And this is gonna be useful for us because there'll be times when we're gonna need centimeters on the bottom, and there's gonna be times when we need centimeters on the top. In this case, we're trying to convert from inches. So we're gonna go with our starting point, which was 5.8125 inches. So 5.8125 inches. Now I wanna get rid of inches and I wanna get centimeters. And so if I multiply by this fraction, I'm gonna have inches times inches over centimeters and that's not gonna get rid of the inches. So I'm gonna use this fraction instead and I'm gonna multiply by that fraction. So that gives me 2.54 centimeters over one inch. And both these fractions really just equal one because we have the same thing on the top and the bottom just in different units. So now we can see that I'm gonna have inches on the top and inches on the bottom. And just like any variable, if I have it on the top and the bottom, it's gonna cancel out. And so I'm gonna be left with units of centimeters. And so when we do the math from this problem, we get that the answer is 14.76375. But we have to think about significant figures. This is a conversion factor. It has an exact, it is an exact number, so it has infinite significant figures, so it's not gonna impact our sig figs. So we come back to our original number, which is that 5.8125. This has one, two, three, four, five significant figures. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. This is the place where I need to round. Next to that three is a seven. So that seven is gonna make the three round up. And so my final answer is gonna be 14.764 centimeters. So pretty simple and straightforward. Just a lot of little pieces to remember along the way. Let's go ahead and jump into the next problem. So our next problem asks us to convert a two liter bottle into gallons. So again, I'm gonna look at that um, conversion factor table at the top, and I'm gonna find that one gallon equals 3.785 liters. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and write my two fractions. So I have one gallon is 3.785 liters or one, whoops, all right, one gallon is 3.785 liters. So again, I can use this either way. I'm trying to convert my two liters into gallons. So I'm going to start with my 2.0 liters. I have liters here. I want to get rid of liters, so I'm going to use the conversion factor with liters on the bottom. So 3.785 liters or one gallon. And I'm going to go ahead and look at my significant figures now. I see that I have two in this number. I have an infinite number of sig figs here. So my answer can only have two sig figs. And so when I convert this, I get 0 0.53 yeah. Okay. Um, let's look at a different problem. We're going to use the same conversion factors. So we've converted our two liter bottle. We know it's slightly more than half a gallon, 0 0.53 gallons. Let's take a look at our bucket. Oops, let's leave this up here.
So now I'm being asked to convert my bucket that holds 5.5 gallons into liters. So it's the same conversion factor, but this time, because I'm converting from gallons to liters and I wanna get rid of gallons, I'm gonna use the conversion factor that has gallons on the bottom. So I'm gonna have one gallon on the bottom and 3.785 liters on the top. And again, this has two significant figures, and so I'm going to come up with an answer of 21 liters. Because the gallons have canceled out, I have 5.5 times 3.785, and that gives me 21. I hope this is helpful. As always, if you have questions, let me know.